this is it. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the best trading methods to go from zero coins all the way up to 1 million coins in FIFA 22. 1 million coins is especially helpful due to the fact that the Team of the Season promo is right around the corner. So these coins will stretch far as the market continues to drop. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best methods at East Price Range to help you guys make the most coins and head towards the ultimate goal of 1 million. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. When starting out, trying to go from zero coins to 10,000 coins, there is two trading methods which you guys should all be using. First of all, it is going to be the sniping of League SBC bronze and silver cards. To do this, you need to find bronze cards from the top five leagues. These include Premier League, League 1, Bundesliga, La Liga, Santander and Serie A. For the sake of showing you guys, I will use Serie A. You then want to find the cheapest buy now of all of these cards on the market, which for Serie A seems to be around 400 coins. You guys are obviously going to want to check when you guys are using the method. Once you find the cheapest buy now of these cards on the market, all you are looking for is blatant undercards, like this card here for 200 coins. We know the cheapest buy now of these cards is 400 coins, so we can go and list this up straight away for double what we bought it for, for 400 coins and take the profit. Very, very simple. All we do is just sit here and snipe after EA tax for around 100 coins profit minimum, so that on these Serie A cards would be 300 coins. Again, I say this works with Premier League, La Liga, League and all of the top five leagues, Bundesliga included. What you can do as well is just do the compare price back out method where you go to the 59th minute and just compare price back out. Every time you're doing this, the market is updating, leading to new cards being listed onto the market. Some of these new listings may be listed at cheaper, such as 300 coins or even 200 coins like we have seen before. But even this card here for 350 coins, well, we can see within 10 minutes they sell on at 450 coins. So we can go and pick this up and sell it for 450 coins. Very, very simple. That is a league SPC sniping method. However, if you guys aren't that good at sniping and are new to the game, the other method which you guys can use is the bronze and silver rare bidding method. All you need to do to this is put the quality to bronze rare, the max price to 150. You then search the market and scroll across until you find a card with a bid on. Very, very simple. Once you find a card with a bid on, you add that card to your transfer targets. You then look for its cheapest by now on the market and you're looking for a card with a minimum by now of 500 coins. Perfect, exactly what we have here on this Mercan here. You then want to try and win this card on bid for cheaper than a minimum by now and try and make at least 100 coins profit after tax is accounted for. So if we can try and win this card on bid for 250 coins, we can then sell that on for 500 coins. Very, very simple. And you guys just want to continue this method, finding other cards with bids on, having a look at the cheapest card on the market. Okay. This guy's cheapest buy now on the market is looking like it's 500 coins. Yet again, that's perfect. We can go pop a bid on him. Again, if you do lose him, then all you have to do is what the reason why we add them to your transfer targets is because if we just head over to our transfer targets section, we can see we've won that Mercan there and we can go and pop a bid on this card here. Very, very simple if it hadn't have expired. But you guys get the idea. We win this Mercan here for 250 coins. We know we can go sell this card on for 450 coins and take the easy profit. You guys are going to want to do this all the way up until 10k. The next trading method which you guys should be using from 10,000 coins all the way up to 50,000 coins is the mass bid on cheap cards. To do this, all you need to do is go onto Footbin and find an 82 or 83 rated player. A good example of one of these players would be Christian Pulisic. Now what you want to find is one of these players which currently has a going rate on the market for around under 1.5 thousand coins. For example, Christian Pulisic here is cheapest by now on the market is 1,400 coins. So then what we would do is work out the tax selling at 1,400 coins, which is 70 coins. So then we go a couple hundred coins below that and start trying to win these cards on bid. So we know if we win all of these cards on bid for 950, then we'll be able to sell them at 1.4k, making 400 coins profit per card. 400 coins profit per card when at 10k budget is really, really good. And especially if you guys can do this on a large scale. Each time you mass bid on these cards... You guys can then go and sell them on instantly and because it's on a larger scale, if you're winning 10 cards each for 500 coins profit, well that is 5,000 coins profit total. And you guys can see as, if, as long as you keep implementing these methods, these coins do add up. But in terms of when these 82 rated and 83 rated are down in price, well what you then do is find a card who is really, really cheap on the market. Some of these cards can include uh, cards such as Gareth Bale or cards such as Rui Patricio who are a lot, lot cheaper here at, at 950 coins. You then want to go through and win these cards on bid for minimum price, literally just opening on bid here for 700 coins. 
As I said, yeah, again, we can go and pick all of these cards up on bid for 700 coins and go list them on for 950. That is a very nice 250 coin profit per card. And especially when you guys are starting out, this profit is huge. Again, I say the larger uh, profit on each trade, meaning uh, that if you get these cards on a larger scale, so if you win more of them, you will make more coins. Very, very simple. But that, guys, is going to be the mass bidding method, which you should use all the way up until 50k. Okay, so once you reach 50k, the next trading method which you guys should be using is the position modifier method it is key to note that you can continue using the mass bid method if it is giving you consistent coins however use the position modifier method on top all you need to do here is find cards or players who are normally in the cdm position this is because what we are going to be looking for is cards who are normally in the cdm which have been converted to center mid by other players <laughs> As we know, in the consumables, the position modifier of CDM2 center mid goes for 2.5k or something like that. Meaning, when another player goes and uh, converts one of these players for their team from a CDM to a center mid, well, that's going to actually increase the value of that player when they do sell that on by a couple thousand coins. To give you guys a good example of this, Fred at his normal price is around 850, 900 coins in his CDM position. However, when we go and search him in a center mid, you guys can see his price is much inflated and this is because other players have gone and converted him into a center mid therefore meaning he costs more due to the price of the position modifier what you can then do is capitalize on other players mistakes as people don't realize the increase in value so for example you would search the thread and see okay has someone listed one up here for 1.5k if they had we would pick it up and sell it on for 4k very simple but yet again these deals do pop up quite regularly due to people not being aware of the actual price difference between these cards in a cdm and a sentiment position so yet again another version of these cards would be alan okay 4.9k okay not an undercut on this but it doesn't matter all you guys do is just keep keep going through all of these players on footbin all you need to do is literally find a CDM player who's under 84 rated that is originally in the CDM position. And these players will work. All you need to do is just search them on the market in the sentiment position. So as I'm, got, as I'm showing you guys on screen, there is lots of different cards which you can do this method for. Some of them do go for incredibly, incredibly much. You do need to make sure that you keep the quality to gold so you just see the gold cards. But as you guys can see, 6.2k. Okay, well, this is a big undercut on the 7.8k. We could then pick this up and sell it for 7.5k. Very, very simple. But that, guys, is going to be the position modifier method. And you guys should be using that all the way from 50k up to 100,000 coins. The 10, 20, 30 bidding method is the most efficient to go from 100k all the way up until 300k. For this, all you need to do is put the minimum price to 10,000 coins, the maximum price to 20,000 coins, and the minimum by now to 30,000 coins. Hint why it's called the 10, 20, 30 method. Very, very simple now. All you do is just search the market and look for a card with a bid on. For example, this Mbabu here at 17k. What you would then do is find the cheapest price of these cards on the market, which from Babu looks like 19k. You would then try and win them on bid for cheaper, accounting for the 5% EA tax. So very, very simple. We just scroll through the market. What you want to do is just scroll to around the one minute mark on the timer down below. And that is because you need time to go and find the cheapest by now of these cards on the market. So if there's only 20 seconds left, you guys aren't going to have enough time. So any card we get here. Okay, this David here at 20,000 coins. So we compare the price and have a look just at other cards on the market to try and gauge the cheapest by now. We can also go on Footbin to do this very, very quickly. But we have added this card to our transfer target. And while he is very, very quickly expiring, very, very quickly, you just want to go and search the cheapest by now of these cards on the market. So Jonathan David is the what card we are going to look at. Very, very simple. Jonathan David, find the... Uh, card which is going to be obviously his team of the year moments now you guys do this with just with any card which you do get and we know that he was going on bid for 20,000 coins so if we just search and very very quickly find the cheapest okay 27,750 is the cheapest of this David so we head back over to our transfer targets section and try and win this uh, card on bid so when we head back over all the way to where our David is we can try and win this okay 25,250 yep that's fine we can then try and win this and sell it on for 27,750 very simple after tax what you guys are going to want to count for is that you don't overbid so once you run out of profit obviously accounting for the five percent ea tax you just want to remove your card from transfer targets head back over to the market and go and bid on more cards very very simple but that guys is going to be the method from 100k all the way up to 300k all the methods shown so far in the video have already been shown in the 0 to 500k coin video on my channel. However, now we are moving into the best training methods to take you guys from 300k all the way up to 1 million coins. All these methods involve icon cards, and this is because they are very, very, very effective and you guys can make lots and lots of coins. 
All you need to do is put the max price to around 70,000 coins and then put the maximum buy now to the total amount of coins you guys have at the time. So for me, that would be 613,000 coins. You then want to scroll all the way to the 59th minute as quick as possible. This is because uh, at the 59th minute is where new cards will normally be listed onto the market, meaning uh, undercuts and deals will be available. And if you get there quick enough, not many people will be able to see them. So straight away, we go to the 59th minute where we have a look at the cards that have just been listed up. For example, this fresh Blanc here at 200k, well... It looks like the cheapest one of them in the market is around 200k, so this isn't an undercut. However, if this card was up at 150k, we would pick it up very, very simple, uh, very, very quickly and list it on. Yet again, you guys, just look around the 59th minute, anything listed within the uh, last minute, and just have a look at these cards. Okay, this Shrine here, 68,500 coins. What's the cheapest to film on the market? Well, it's looking like it's going to be around 72,000 coins. So, yet again, not a deal. You guys are looking for a minimum of around 5k profit per card using this sniping filter. Yet again, if you don't see a deal, all you need to do is just go out, update a price filter, and then scroll all the way back to the 59th minute and look for more deals. A deal I got earlier on this filter includes this Robin Van Persie. Now, we picked him up for 100k. He regularly sells on for 115k. So, we can just go and list this card very, very simple up for 115k. List it up for six hours so we can guarantee a sale. Hopefully, you can't obviously guarantee a sale, but just you have a more chance the longer the card is listed for due to price fluctuations. And then on that card, we'll take the 7.5k price profit after tax when that card does sell on very very simple now you can also bid on these icon cards for this all you need to do is just uh, remove the max by now and put the max price to 70k very very simple all these cards do pop up on the market in front of you you look for one with a bid on okay this robin van persie here 68,000 coins is the bid we then look for the cheapest one of these cards on the market which looks like it is around 73,000 coins so not a deal here on this Robin Van Persie however if he was 90,000 coins we would try and win him on bid for cheaper and then sell him on for more yet again you just scroll across the market until you find other cards with a bid on which look like they're going for their bid is going for a bit less than what you would estimate their buy now to be okay here on this loud drop card what is the cheapest buy now of him on the market well it's looking like it's going to be about 77,000 coins a lot of the time with these cheaper cards, you can pick them up for uh, very near to just discard price. So it's a very, very risk-free buy. 75,000 coins. Okay, yeah, well, we'll pop a bid on this for just around 69,000 coins. As that can be decent uh, 3 or 4k profit after tax. Now, it's very, very simple. When it is on a cheap card, you can take less profit. But when you guys are putting a lot of coins up, for example, a couple hundred K on these trades, then you are looking for a minimum buy now, uh, minimum profit after tax of around 5,000 coins. Finally, when going from the 300k to 500k price range, what you guys can also do is Team of the Week Inform Investing. And this is because if you guys look in the current Team of the Weeks and look for informs which are from the top five leagues. So a good example of these would be Bundesliga. You want to get these cards as close to the minimum by now uh, of the Team of the Week cards as possible. And that is because it makes it less risk-free. So if we can pick any of these cards up for around under 13,000 coins, then that will be a good buy. So it's very, very risk-free, especially if you can pick ones on bigger undercuts like this one here for 12k. The reason why you guys pick up these cards is because once they requ become required for an SBC during promos such as Team of the Season, then they will go up in price, meaning that you guys can just capitalise considering you bought them very, very cheap. We can go and sell them on 4, 15, 16, sometimes even up towards 20k, meaning we can make lots and lots of profit with this risk-free investment. Also, the longer that these team of the, the longer time since these team of the weeks were in packs mean their price will just naturally increase. This is because people discarding them, putting in them, putting them in SBCs, other stuff like that. Very, very simple. But if you guys can pick up ones on snipes such as 11k here, then you guys will make lots of coins. Anyway, that is going to be the ultimate guide from zero coins all the way up to 1 million coins in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. If you guys did find the video helpful, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more of my FIFA 22 content. It's been me, Manzanosis, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.